ordinarily we wouldn't have spoken. Um, but for what the minority leader said, we need to correct these things. And as we are engaging in social engineering as a country, some of these things should be uh, dealt with up an issue. Ladies and gentlemen, it's important for us to recognize that if you recall, even before we were sworn in to be part of the Eighth Parliament, ab initio in the chamber, we as members of the majority had raised issue of eligibility related to the ascent of member of parliament elect then. If you recall, there were dramatic representation even from our side. And we had questioned the implication of that decision for the member to sit in and be part of that decision making on that day. Each one of you will bear witness. And so today we have been vindicated because from day, day one we had made our point abundantly clear that the member was invalidly elected. And lo and behold, a court of proper jurisdiction has come to make a ruling. Now, I respect the minority leader, but for him to say that robbing in government influence and the likes is totally flawed and should be rejected ab initio. We think that if you look at the provisions in our law, the pieces of legislation as were well, applied. Article 94.2, Section 92 of the Representation Act, and then the Canadian Citizen Act, all put together, were the anchor of the ruling from the court. Now, be it as it may, any law-abiding citizen, when there is a court ruling, and you don't agree in law, you need to file a review or go for an appeal. Don't bring in the executive. We have built our country to the extent that we need to rip, rip, uh, respect separation of powers. Because the honorable minority leader is part of the legislative arm of government. And the court is part of the judiciary. So if there is a court ruling and you don't agree, you go and appeal. You don't organize a press conference on the spur of the movement and start throwing jabs at the executives. I think, I think they are getting confused. And I can understand them. It has blown them off their feet. But for us, it has only justified our claim at the initial stages. So we will advise the minority if they have any basis to expect a ruling otherwise. All they need to do is to subject themselves to the process. And let, let's see uh, what will happen from the law court. So it's much ado about nothing. We can understand them that this has unsettled them. But they should, if they have reflected upon it deeply, especially the day of swearing in, they will have realized that they were going on a wild goose chase. Let it be a lesson to them. And let's respect the sanctity of our law court. When there is a decision from our court, we should subject ourselves to the due process. And where we think that we can make an appeal, we make necessary appeal accordingly. Mm -hmm.